Hello, in this video we're going to create this image and we'll use our source original from Photoshoot. So we will expand. It's actually a bit already adjusted. You can see some elements there. But we're going to create uh, around 1950s style sci-fi with retouching theming and just adding some elements to the background. So let's go ahead and start working on this. Let's begin by open our image in camera and I'm going to bridge select image that I want to edit. And we're in camera. So let's go first. And by the way, this is a 12.13. It's new interface. If you have a tabs on the top, you probably run with older version. This will be same. Only now you can see they kind of going from top to bottom. And otherwise, it's just the tabs. So it's about same things. You don't need it. It won't be that much different. Okay, we need to go to optics or adjustment in other cases. And I just want enable this too. It's remove chromatic abbreviation and use it profile correction just to fix little bit lens. Next is in our basic. We want to take highlights and bring them down. If you notice like right here by forehead, we want it's a little bit overblowing. So by highlights, we we'll a little bit flatten those um, overexposures. But it is will make a little bit flatter. So we'll fix this in a second. Let's go ahead. Shadows pop up a little bit in the shadows. And now we can go into sharpness bring probably sharpness about 70 somewhere around this and HSL and color mixer now HSL in luminosity we want to bring a little bit orange and you can see just highlights restore some of those highlights by yellow luminosity yellow and orange on a face so a little bit deflatten a little bit on a face but keep it very nice shadowing um, on a close so we can work with those ones as well okay before we open I want to be sure that I'm working with Adobe RGB. Again, it's per personal preference. You can switch whatever you want it. And I want to use it 16 bit channel for my color. Let's go click OK and we'll open this inside the Photoshop. So inside the Photoshop, before editing, I want to little bit reframe. So I'm going to um, bring a little bit up and a little bit on the side. So kind of like a corner. Maybe around there. We will already work a little bit more. Actually, this one maybe bring a little bit closer like this. And let's cut a little bit of bluish. I don't like a bluish right there, but I will keep it a little bit knee. Close it. Um, I want to be sure it says content wear for me. And let's don't delete any originals. So we'll just hide them, but we won't delete it. Press enter and it's what we'll do right now it's photoshop magic <laughs> it's what call but we'll create some of those areas that not exist with same color and let's work quite a bit okay except we have some small right here elements for this ones we'll go to duplicate our layer and i'm just going to use it patch tool select and move it sometimes if you're still coloring we may rework on this in a second okay like right there and you can see sometimes it's brighter. So if this has happened, our clone tool will help. So again, our clone tool, that says opacity 10. We can select on a side and start cloning. This is one option. Another option, if you want it, you can use the healing brush tool. And with healing brush, you can actually select areas that you want it and start kind of using with the healing and you can see that will have it another blending for you. So we can do either way, which one you like it. Okay, let's go with healing brush. The nice things with healing brush can select my angle, bring a little bit down here. And just use my healing brush this way. Okay, let's go just uh, just a little bit more. There you go. Okay. So now we have it actually expanded right here. Notice we still have a promo with the smoke. Um, we, we could fix same way or let's go ahead and take our um, clone tool. We'll take a pass to 40, maybe select here and just a little bit. Just like add slightly cloning, remove some of this repetition. So it's won't be visible in this case. Okay, this is our base right now. And um, next, let's go create retouching. So let's go call this base. 
Okay. We'll create new layer. I'll go to retouching. We'll select healing brush tool. Let's go close to the face. And it's actually very clean, nice skin here. Just in case, if you want it, we can still just select and fix it. Mostly just those makeup fallout. And we're gonna, gonna fix a little bit of those elements. Also, just a little bit clean up inside the nose. Just slightly, so we have it not distracting and sometimes leave it hard on the edges, but it's okay, don't worry too much because we'll go clean up a little bit more there. There you go. Okay, let's go right here, a little bit redness. I just go to touch up on this one. Okay, I think this is okay. Um, next one. Oops, on the hand, let's clean up a little bit. Okay, I don't necessarily like this um, stitching. So what I'm going to do is select and just a little bit rework our stitching. And what I do, I press Alt, select texture, and moving. And I'm looking for some texture that will be close to what original. So kind of like almost need to blend a little bit better. So it's what I'm doing right there. You can do same actually with a zipper. If you don't like zipper, you can actually select and just, you know, work a little bit with a zipper around. Right there with the blue. I'm trying to select also same coloring, but you can see we just slightly Fixing. Okay, let's select edge right here. We'll bring edge closer. And there you go. Just to remove some zipper. So it's, again, we'll fix a little bit more if you need it, but right here we can add a little bit texturing. Um, next, right here, we have a little bit buttons. So let's select. Uh, kind of hiding, but if you want, I can remove them. As well, we have a little bit um, effect from our lights, and we can do two ways. We can or hide all the way like this, or I'll show otherwise we'll leave it, but we'll just blend a little bit more in. Okay, so right here also, let's fix it. Okay, so just right there. There you go. Fix a little bit our edge removing. And you can see I'm simulating somewhat edge a little bit more far away, so it is will look a little bit more natural. Okay, we can go right here. Fix a little bit on this edge. Okay, let's go to zoom out. Yeah, a little bit too dark. Something I don't like right there. There you go. That's a little bit better. Again, we can just select and run down used alt key to select sampling area and apply this you can see we kind of remove a bit from there those seams okay i will leave this on maybe right here just fixed slightly more like this There you go. Uh, right here, dark right, a little bit don't like how it's come up. 
So let's fix it. Some of these dark areas. There you go. A little bit better. Okay, well, I'll smooth them out. And maybe right there. Okay. Overall, what we've done, just remove some of the seamless seams that may look. And this is actually not seam, but it's stretch. Should pop up in my eyes as well. So maybe fix a little bit. Okay. This is our kind of retouching. That's what we was doing. Next, let's do um, apply a little bit depth to this. And we'll do this by creating dodge and burn layer. Okay, let me rename properly. Dodge burn and we'll go use it 50% gray. Soft light. We'll take our brush. Be sure it's a 10% opacity, 50 flow about, and we'll go on a black. We'll zoom in. Reduce our brush and then just start adding a little bit brushes right here, a little bit darker. So let me add a little bit more dimension around her nose. Add shape a little bit more to the cheek. Okay, we'll go in with a style about 50 sci-fi, so we'll try to keep it a little bit in the style. Highlights, let's add highlight to the nose. A little bit hot spot right there. Okay, a little bit on our lips. We'll do brighten on the middle. And a little bit darker on the sides that will create them a little bit more. Fluffy. Okay, widen a little bit on the T, just like little more shadow eyes and T. And notice I used X key to actually switch very fast between highlights and darker. So it's what we're going. Just help you jump very little bit faster. Okay, right there. Let's go look on her face before and after. We can actually add a little bit more shadows, I think, right there. Okay. Zoom out. Let's go add a little bit more shadows on the hands. Just between a little bit of fingers, maybe on the side of the hand. Add highlights to the fingers so it will add a little bit dimension and same way let's do on a pants add a little bit shadows and same bring a little bit of highlights in some areas okay I think this is okay for a dodge and burn a little bit. We'll add global as well. So this is our temporary kind of like placeholders right now on a face. So let's go on next, touch up a little bit on a hair. So for this one, I'm going to create control shift alt E command option alt E on a Mac. And we um, will create new layers by merging all visible to one. And on a hair, we're going to now go in the filter, stylize, and we'll go to oil painting. Okay, let's go check. And I want 100% stylization. We can look on a cleanness. Let's bring cleanness to about seven, maybe. Scale zero one and Bristol, maybe about two. So I think this will should give it us nice hair. We can look closer, ignore everything. Just look only on a hair. And actually, we'll go to sharpen as well a little bit. So it will bring even more kind of lines to our hair. We'll click OK and hold down Alt or Option key and click on a mask that will create black mask. So make it invisible. And now with 10% opacity, 
we can brush in that clean on a hair actually you know what let's go with 20 percent opacity and we can easy by switching by press one two three or whatever and that will set opacity on our brush so you don't need to go up, up on the top and select um nice things about this if you notice right here was a hair merging and if people have it wig by using this technique you actually can hide the wig very well and kind of blend with um, hair let's go right here let's go right a little bit more and all that we're doing we're just a little bit cleaning here or creating a little bit more as a painting effect so a little bit okay maybe a little bit to order down but again this is our painting kind of look alike okay so let's go do again control shift alt e command option alt e and we're going with a uh, smoothing on this one we'll go to filter noise dust and scratches okay and what i want to do it's just about like this so we can see the shapes but they're very smooth on the skin done okay alt option click on the mask again so it's hide and now with 10 percent opacity on our brush we'll start brushing in and you can see we actually what it does it's reduce some of this texturing and we don't want to necessarily reduce everywhere but i want to reduce at least on the skin it's what give me this a little bit more um paint uh, pain kind of poster look it's what i'm going out i don't like I don't use it to touch the hair on this, but we'll definitely going to work on the skin right here. Let's go zoom out, and you can see again this is before and after, just a little bit softener, make this dreamier. Okay, let's do on our hands as well. And most important, we're going to use this on a helmet. So remember, I says how we can hide this. Now, see if we apply. Let's go with 20%, so it will be faster. If we apply here, you can see how it start blending. So it's removing some of this grid and creating more like light strike. There you go before and after okay 10 percent again let's move some elements actually 20 right here on a helmet and if you want to see you press alt and click on a mask and you can see how the our mask is where transparency applied so definitely some areas i do not apply but some we add a little bit more okay let's go this area we have some stretching we'll just slightly touch up on the suit to make it kind of hide some of this texturing right there up front it's a blending in there you go okay so we have it before and after a little bit cleaning let's combine everything together again and I'll we'll just call it global dungeon burn on this. Um, we're going to create image adjustment. I'll go to black and white, and I'll bring just red and yellow a little bit up for this. And we'll go again image adjustment shadow highlights. We'll set to ten percent radius, or well, not percent, ten pixels radius. Let's put the amount 100%. And we'll take tone, bring down, and leave it up. This we're going with the. This is our will be a soft light, so it's contrast based blend mode, which will emphasize a little bit more on the highlights, and add on shadows. So just add a little bit more depth, lighting depth. Again, we can do need to use 100%. Just a little bit on this. 
Okay, I think we're kind of almost getting close right now with retouching the model. So it's already kind of look nice. Um, let's work kind of a couple things. One, maybe it's fix eyes. So in eyes, we'll go to huge saturation. Let's go look on color, um, color eyes. And we'll, I'm just looking on eyes and one green eye, maybe it's saturation and leave it up. Okay. Let's switch mode to soft light or overlay. Which one we want? Or screen? Probably overlay. Let's go overlay and command control I on a mask so we hide it. It's invisible. Now we can paint back in with a 10% opacity just in the eyes. Just a little bit so the our eyes. Have greener eyes. Nice things about this if we go over, you can always switch to black and kind of remove some of those elements. And of course, we need paint another eye. The masking because we don't want two different colors. Well, you could if you have a special character. Let's go zoom out right here. We have the eyes. Notice we have a little bit on our hair and I'm just going very carefully paint over this hair. Okay. So we have our green eyes. Again, you can play a little bit with a different blending mode. See which one work. Okay. That is a two green. Light and actually look kind of interesting, but I think it's between soft light or overlay. So in those ones too, well, let's give it with overlay and we can just play. I think right there, this color will be good. Okay. Now I want to bring add additional highlights to the hair. So it's eye color. Okay. Highlights will go to use it curve for this. And I'm just going to set this basic um, contrast curve like this in overlay mode. Yeah, maybe bring a little bit up. I'm just looking at this hair. Okay. Hair highlights. Just renaming that one. And we can paint in again with our brush. Oops, what I select? I select brush. Okay. And I need it on a mask. There you go. Okay. So we'll add it and we can just paint with a white color. A little bit in those highlights. Mostly like right there not too much we don't want overwhelm but usually where you see the light striking this is why I want to add this highlighting there you go maybe a little bit closer to face and we can look before and after it just add additional, um, make hair a little bit pop up. Okay, so let's go ahead. I think at this point we kind of done retouching so we can play a little bit more with the coloring on this. Um, creating compositing, I want to add details because this is a little bit empty. Just single pose does not necessarily tell tell kind of story, but not always. So what I want to do, I want to add some coloring and maybe add some um, elements on a background. Okay, so let's go ahead and next step. Actually, I will use this robot. And this is um, from does 3D uh, robot. I download it, render inside the view and export as a mask. So you can see right here. And we're going to just use this robot um, as a background. Again, 
you can use anything else if you are pattern scriber this is all come with you as a project file so you, so you will access and we'll just go place it right here one and you know what i'm going to actually convert this to smart object because i'm going to scale almost any time when i'm scale i want to convert and um the thing is a little bit i want to create maybe big on a back and a class right here on the side that could be very interesting so let's do this i uh, will just duplicate it we'll take one of this robot Control command t and we'll just zoom out and scale maybe just put it like on the back right around there maybe yeah let's go to this one and you know what let's go to um transform flip horizontally so kind of like almost on the side right there will be something big okay and this one i actually like this hand so we can maybe use the hand like almost reaching to grab here so like right there okay i think that will work better so right here what's happening we have those elements but we want to hide and the masking could be very simple on this so we don't need to go too sophisticated we'll just take these two robots um group them let's set this right now as maybe lighting or screen you can do any of those modes so we can preview uh, soft light may work as well doesn't matter we'll reverse to this we'll create mask and by using brush black brush we're going to removing so we'll have it let's go at like 40 percent and we can start kind of almost masking out the robots don't worry about too much here actually you know what let's go with a zero 100 percent first so we'll go Close, don't worry too much about edges. I'll show you what we're going to do with edges. But I do want to kind of apply right there. Mostly just remember this is we're masking with the robots. So we'll just kind of mask a little bit out those robots. So they're kind of almost behind her. right there let's go increase our size of brush okay some will come back because right here behind helmet will come back to restore some of this i want just right now got a very rough adjustments let's go right there where is the gun hands you go very rough and you don't need very um precise masking at this time and i see a line right here let me see what does the line come from so line coming from this okay if we see line let's go to um oops select two right here uh, i don't know if the just don't want to go over this hand to select that line and create mask to remove it so it's not hiding okay notice right there a little bit behind on this we'll switch to white and we'll just start painting back so almost like with a helmet you can see through the helmet the um, arm there also by her hair just on the edges very slightly it will make hair look more blending in okay just a little bit okay 
have a nice um, behind the subjects. Let's go can apply a little bit more on a blending. And I'm at soft lights. We'll go to pass through now set. And we can just bring remember this. Oh, look on that. Right here was her eye I missed. Okay, so let's go ahead. Click on the mask. Yep. Right there. Let's go to zero. Yeah, well I need fixed some of these elements on the mask. There you go. Okay, that's better. So okay, we have it our mask. Let's go to bring slightly down. So it's something like behind, but it does not in our face, so we'll have it elements. Um, next, let's add some smoke. Okay, and the smoke will be 100% um, white. And I'm just going to use it brush. So I'm going to use it create smoke. And let's see which one we can use it. We don't want this fog. I think this will Good, interesting. Okay, just something that going up. Like, a, okay, let's see this smoke. Yeah, I think this one is good. Okay, kind of percent. I just press double time, Control T, Command T. So it's go a little bit more straight, like from gun, like around there. So this is our smoking gun. And I want to add a little bit more smoke around them, so we'll create another. Let's call this fog, so we know it's different. And the same will go select. Um, let's select fog tool. I think that one will work. And again, select different, whatever um, you kind of like it or whatever you have it. This again, this is, um, I think, from Debian library. It's from um, purchase at um, dots3d. But if you have some other ones, you can also use. The original fog, it's from fog machine. It's when we was creating. Okay, right here. The one thing I want to create actually coloring tone. So from here, we'll get it blue kind of going like blue and red from this area. Um, to make a red, we probably want to add some sparks to this area. And again, I'm going to use a sparks or um, it's a plugs from, actually it's overlays from Debian. And you can see right here again, it's a sparks. I don't know if I need to um, sparks or also brush. This one may work. And uh, you can build your own. Yeah, let's go with that one. You can build your own library, but I say if you're going and the real not that expensive and you can get them at the um, DAS Studio, DAS 3D. OK, and these ones will switch to the screen. And I just want to add a little bit more sparks. Like right there, sparks or burst, whatever we have it. And I'm just going through look on some of them I don't need it big explosions I just want yeah we don't need smoke oh, there you go I think this one is good okay let's go grab that one put it inside screen let's just little bit size up there you go Just put it like right there. So kind of like almost falling off. We have another with the smoke. So let's go do that one as well. And almost always I will use it soft screen. Just create a little bit. Uh, let's go look on the sparks also and the sparks it's kind of a little bit big i think for me but we can 
also select I think now let's go sparks I think not work this burst will work a little bit better also like this one let's go grab this one and we'll put it this on a side maybe around here screen and let's go take opacity just a little bit creating actually yeah let's rotate it this way okay a little bit of coloring kind of like explosion or something going on there and it will spread and i think i need to find a little bit more on the sparks this one the problem is it's so many nice ones you just want to use them okay this one is will work let's go grab it i need something that will come from this angle corner like this kind of yeah there you go something that's showing directional from this so next we want to a little bit adjust um on a coloring on this and uh, we can create two overlays for this one with a brighter and one on a little bit lower so let's go create first and it will be our cyan color we'll go to um we have a couple options we can actually create a solid color but what i want to do i want to actually use a brush and paint in effect so we'll go select right here this cyan color okay just a little bit deeper brighter and we can just paint like around there And so maybe you know, a little bit more like right there bluish okay now let's go ahead and switch this to we have a soft light of overlay let's go to soft light okay and I will go into create hold alt and create mask and now we can go inside closer and actually paint Oop, it's too strong let's go one brush on the one and we can paint in this coloring so we can add a little bit more including on her face a little bit more cyanish around there a little bit on the hair kind of color casting on the chin down below right there and a little bit on the nose right there this is how the lights will go okay also we have right here around your arms okay and overall i actually want to add say anish we will add a little bit more darker around that area but there you go so this is our darker cyan color okay next we'll create a new layer and uh, so it will be our warm so i want to select almost like orange her skin so we'll go bring a little bit more like that one okay same things let's go to zero and we can actually paint like around there going maybe a little bit on her hand slightly on the helmet right there maybe a little bit on the robot arms and we'll you can do just solid color how say i'm doing this only reason so i can see just in my mind how its color will go okay let's go again select and switch this to soft light and we'll create 
mask and let's go right now just paint in okay some elements again one percent ten percent we'll use it color and now you can see we can actually kind of paint a little bit more like her shoulder like right there with the lights a little bit on her chin maybe just slightly on the helmet again casting right there on the robots here okay let's go zoom out there you go so we have it almost like the warm color and cold color so it's what we collide so this is one overlay let's go right now select Control shift command alt e or whatever option e this is will be um filter forge and i created filter in the filter forge it's free to download you can download it and use it this is just help me to work with some presets um or adjusting colors so for example right here i will be using let's go in a photo and i'll use it photo tone that's what i develop and then right here for example already preset you can see settings um it just helped me to bring a little bit more out contrast and color so it's very easy you just apply this preset and using again if you interested it's filter forge um, not necessary you can do exactly the same things with um, inside the Photoshop with a color contrast and other things it's just a little bit faster I think okay and I'm just going to um, add a little bit more like right there maybe okay let's go ahead next create a new layer and this will be our dodge and burn for the global for everything so it's meaning we'll go create um, soft light blend mode on this our brush and we want our brush be black and white 10 percent and i can actually kind of like add right here some darken area okay we can switch to brighten other areas Okay, let's actually pop up this just maybe let's see yeah just a little bit like right there okay again um it is um, a little bit too strong on the robots i think okay let's go group this the sparks okay and this is our robots the problem with the robots because we apply the filter because if we want to redo but I'm not sure if I want the robots that strong or not maybe just a little bit less even like that okay the nice things about um, filter forge because if you create one I can go just reapply same filter it's remember everything it saved quite a bit time when I do this way okay and Again, you can see a little bit less noticeable robots there. And we'll go about like right there, maybe 60. I think it's was 78. Yeah, about the same. Okay, again, dodge and burn. Just help us a little bit focus more on her face. Okay, I can remove this one. And the robots just a little bit more on the background, less visible, but it's something there. So let's give it some idea of this um next what i want to do is play a little bit more with the colors we'll go to selective and i'm not sure if we'll keep it or not but in selective you can see we can actually control maybe just leave move a little bit of the black make a little bit more steam kind of um let's go just slightly in a cold area in the shadows cyan right there yeah, just add a little bit on this and we'll go to the neutrals this is our neutrals 
might just leave it there and keep it maybe a little bit warmer. Not too much, just adjustments. I don't know, reddits will kill cyan, so yeah, let's go this way. And let's go with the white highlights. And I do like how highlights will bring more, so we'll bring more highlights. And we definitely bring warmer on highlights. There you go. So right here, just a little bit adjustment. I think it's add kind of more interesting to this dimension. Uh, let's do another layer. And sometimes when you um, do compositing, it may help you. If you do the grain, 50% um, gray, go filter, noise, add noise. And as add noise, maybe just even 31, switch to the soft light. Okay, let's go look closer. You can see we have it quite a bit grain. So let's do this, take this grain and Oops, actually, I don't need this one. I need this grain. There you go. So then we can actually reduce and slowly reintroduce back. Okay, maybe like right there. But 40%, I think it will be nice. So it's add this kind of poster kind of grainy effect. Okay, so here is kind of version. Um, I did this different version as well before, uh, not for the video, just when I was playing around. And I can show you right here when downloading, and you can see this is um, different version. So you can go, this is a little bit more tied in version, kind of a little bit adjust. I don't know if you like it. This is a little bit more open version. Again, if you want it, you can take and shrink this version kind of more into Maybe like this. So just crop in a little bit. Okay, and right here you have a little bit different versions of this. Again, this is up to um, whether you like it or not. But I think actually I like when it was um, a bit bigger size versus other ones. But again, you can still do um, apply work with all of them. I notice sometimes um, this look a bit sharper and it's because size actually it's uh, smaller. Okay, let's close it. This one on the sharpness on this, of course you can always just create new layer. Okay. And I recommend do final sharpness afterwards and just go filter, sharpen and sharp mask. You can bring in pop in and there as we have it quite a bit sharpness again um maybe not necessarily will work in this case with uh, that high grain we want the grain even down then more for the sharpness but overall still this is the image um a couple things in the end we need to do be sure um add who did this so i'll just add my name to this Right here, let's go to scale down. And we'll just place it somewhere. Okay, so right there you can create your book cover, you can create anything you like. It just kind of interesting for me was working with the uh, stylizations in the older 1950s sci-fi. Um, right here is our thumbnail. If you create for the book, you can preview this. But I will appreciate, again, for watching this video. If you find it's useful, please subscribe to the uh, my YouTube channel or follow up. And also, our sets will be available for those who are Patreon supporters. So you can go on uh, patreon.com geek at play and become one of these and have access to literally hundreds and hundreds other video tutorials, resources, and all this additional um, elements. Thank you again and I hope you have a fun time.